Population of towns. Delightful question. Very tough one. I, I, I kind of took went from answer choices and fudged and got the answer in the exam. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to solve this algebraically. And so, uh, assume that we don't have these wonderful choices. The choices are present. This question becomes very simple. And I'm going to assume this is not present. Then dive in and try solving this. The population of a town is p in the beginning of any year. Then it becomes three plus two p the beginning of the next year. The population at the beginning of 2019 is 1000. Then the population at the beginning of 2034 will be. 2019 is P. 2020 will be 2P plus 3. 2021 will be 2 into 2P plus 3. Plus 3. 2022 would be 2 into 2P plus 3. Times 2. Plus 3. Plus 3. And then so on. I'm going to expand this. This is 2p plus 3. This is 4p plus 9. This is 4p plus 9 into 2, which is 8p plus 18 plus 3, 21. This is six, next term would be 16p plus 45. Term after that would be 32p plus 93, and so on. This into 2 plus 3. Point of the nice interesting question. The first pattern we notice is this goes as 2p, 4p, 8p, 16p, 32p. That part is simple. Fine, very nice, very simple. Fine. So this is going to be 2 power 1 into p, 2 square into p, 2 cube into p, 2 power 4 into p, 2 power 5 into p, so on. From 9, 2090 to 2034, there are 15 years, 15 jumps. So finally, we've got to have a 2 power 15 into p. In our case, p is 1000. We'll worry about that. Plug that in in the end. And that part we've solved. Next part, this is 3. It becomes 9. Why 9? 3 into 2 plus 3. Fine. Now, what does it become? The next step, it becomes 3 into 2 into 2 plus 3 into 2 plus 3. Think about this, this 21, how does it come about? That is 3 plus 3 into 2 plus 3 into 2 square. This one would be 3 plus 3 into 2 plus 3 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 cube. Or if I extract a 3 outside, 1 plus 2 plus 2 square. This one, if you ex this 9, 3 outside, 1 plus 2. We're getting somewhere here. There's a geometric progression sitting here, a beautiful geometric progression. In year 1, we just have 3 into 1. In year 2, we have 3 into 1 plus 2. In year 3, we have 3 into 1 plus 2 plus 2 square. Next, we'll have 3 into 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus 2 cube. Or, we keep on doing this. This is year 1, year 2, year 3, and so on. Finally, what will you get? Think about this. In year 3, there are 3 terms. 1 plus 2 plus 2 square. In year 15, there will be 15 terms. 3 into 1 plus 2 plus 2 square. All the way to 2 power 14. This we know. It is 3 into 2 power 15 minus 1 by 2 minus 1, which is nothing. Or the total population would be 2 power 15 into P plus 3 into 2 power 15 minus 1 or 2 power 15 into p plus 3 minus 3 p is 1000 so 2 power 15 into 1003 minus 3 this one going from answer choices is far simpler we see there's a progression sitting in we know there is 15 years we know this 2 power 15 has to sit somewhere this is out this is out this is the answer going from answer choices this is very simple but Look, in the exam context, you can do answer choices, but for learning, it's better to see the textbook method. The next time, the idea will come up.